Hey, welcome back, everybody. Whether you have an abundance of tomatoes, zucchini, or even something else, lifestyle expert Sherry French shares smart and creative ways to enjoy your produce all winter long. Fall is just around the corner, and whether you have a homegrown garden or, like me, are heading to your local farmer's market every couple of days to stock up, I've got four great ways to make that produce last through the winter months. Let's first talk about freezing. Sounds so simple, but how many times you go into your freezer and you don't know what's in there as it's not labeled and you don't know how long it's been in there. First, you want to actually label everything. It so, sounds so simple, but it's so important. The date of what you're putting in and what it is. You want to have, use the first in, first out method, FIFO. So when you're reaching into that freezer to grab something, you want to take the oldest first. I also love freezer bags because you can actually stack them on top of each other versus plastic containers. So you're going to optimize that room in your freezer. And when you want to freeze fruit like blueberries, strawberries, or even peaches, grab some parchment paper and a cookie sheet, lay the fruit onto that cookie sheet, put it directly into your freezer, and then let them freeze, grab them out, and then put them into your labeled freezer bag so they're ready for smoothies this winter. Next, let's move on to green beans. Very plentiful. I know I had a lot, actually, these are the one things I was actually growing in my de uh, deck top garden, but you wanna blanch these before freezing. Blanching. You actually wanna bring a, a pot of water to boil, full rolling boil, for beans about two to three minutes. You're gonna immediately take them out of that boiling water, drop them into a bowl of ice water. The ice water will immediately cool your beans and it will keep the color, all of the nutri nutrients, will stop the enzymes from working, and it will keep these beans as fresh as possible when you wanna put them into your freezer. One thing to remember is when you do take them out of this ice bowl, use a paper towel, get them completely dry before, before you put them into that freezer bag. And remember to label. This next one I love, dehydration. You do not need a fancy dehydration machine, but I've got two ways to keep some fruit and vegetables. So first, apples. We can actually make apple chips. Take some apples, you're going to slice them, put them onto a cookie sheet, top them with some cinnamon sugar, set your oven to about 200, for, and you're gonna put them in for about an hour and wait till the edges start to curl up. You're gonna let them cool and then you'll see them that they're chips and crispy and they're perfect for snacks. Um, so easy to make. But these cherry tomatoes, the baby tomatoes that are so plentiful in many people's gardens, you can make sun-dried tomatoes. You don't have to get them from the deli. So easy to do. You're gonna slice your tomatoes into half, halves. You're gonna put them upright facing up on a cookie sheet. Set your oven to 225 you're gonna to top them with some spices. So I've used some thyme and some oregano. Let them sit for about three hours in your oven and they're going to get to a rubbery, darker red consistency. And these are perfect. You can eat them every night. I know in my house we've been making these nonstop because everybody loves them. But you can also freeze these and when you're ready to use them for maybe pasta or a salad in the winter months, take them out, soak them in some water or some oil and they're ready to use in the middle of the winter. All right, last, canning. I am not a canner. I do not have a weekend to spend canning things, but I've got a simple way to can cucumbers. We're gonna make pickles, refrigerator pickles. So you're gonna take your little cucumbers, you're gonna put them in halves or quarters, grab a mason jar, fill it up. You're then gonna drop some dill and some garlic directly into the mason jar. You're gonna mix water with some cider vinegar, Fill it to the top of the, of the jar. You want all of the cucumber to be covered. Let it sit on your counter for two to four days, leaving the lid a little bit loose. And you want to check after day two, do you like the taste of them? If you do, great. Tighten that lid, put them into your fridge. They will keep up to six months in your fridge if they'll last that long in your family. I know I've made six, I have two left. So I love this way. You do not have to be an expert actually for any of these reuse all of your produce in the winter months. To find all of these great how-tos, head over to my Instagram, MomHint.